Namaste. Now we are going to talk about milk and dairy products. In the West now, it's very common to say that milk is an allergenic food. Um, along with that uh, milk is very important to calcium uh, intake and this kind of stuff. Ayurveda puts a lot of importance to the proper eating of milk products because it can be very troublesome for digestion. One simple thing is ever, never, ever drink milk cold. <laughs> Just you take out the fridge and you put in a glass and you put a little bit of uh, some chocolate stuff and drink it. This in Ayurveda uh, perspective is very very difficult to digest. So the first rule about milk is that we should cook it not in the microwave. <laughs> we should cook it and uh, add some spices maybe some turmeric also, depending on several factors. Turmeric is very good to all the things that are highly proteic. Um, so, in Ayurveda, milk, we should take just like when we take milk from our mother breast. That's it, that is, it's a full meal, and if you're going to eat it with um, another thing, it should be very uh, compatible as we spoke before in the incompatibility uh, issue about food combination in Ayurveda. So, in Ayurveda we always need to cook the milk before we eat. And we should take it at least warm, never cold. And also it's important that uh, we are not just like taking with salty or sour things. In Ayurveda milk can be combined with almonds, cashews, uh, raisins or it can be combined with oats or cornflakes. It can be combined with uh, things like coconuts. Um, in Ayurveda we have this concept about the energetics of the food. And in Ayurveda, milk is cooling and it's nourishing for the tissues and also uh, it's uh, very important to increase reprodu reproductive system and the brain uh, system, the nervous system. But we always have to eat milk in this fashion. Curd is one thing that we can mix with um, salty and sour things. It should be eaten actually with uh, other things or with honey. Curd is especially good to eat in the afternoon and in Ayurveda we understand that taking uh, curd in the night is very troublesome for digestion. There is one saying in one Ayurvedic classic book, don't ever bring me one person that is used to uh, drink, to take curd in the night, because it's not going to be <laughs> possible to help him. Okay, if you are used to this, don't worry. <laughs> You're not going to die tomorrow, but the point is that this usually is very ama producing It uh, builds a lot of metabolic toxins in our system. Okay, and uh, uh, here in India, people are very fond of uh, curd, but they usually uh, take with uh, fried things, and with fried things, it's not so good to take curd because or it is very uh, heavy for digestion. If you're in a very cold place and it's very windy, so you can take curd like this because curd is uh, heating and also it's nourishing the tissues, but not so much to the reproductive system as milk. 
Another dairy product that is very important in Ayurveda is ghee. Ghee is usually uh, described in the West as clarified butter. There is a specific process of uh, cleaning the heavy uh, parts of butter for uh, our digestive system to take the oil more easily. And for Ayurveda, ghee is very good to uh, nourish the system, mainly the brain, but not to overtax the liver. So for Ayurveda, uh, ghee is beneficial for cholesterol, for the liver, and uh, for the fatty uh, parts of our body, like the brain. But is uh, butter is not so. Butter also should only be taken when the climate is very cold and very windy, and for certain amounts in certain times of the day. So in Ayurveda, milk. Um, yogurt, curd, um, ghee, and also buttermilk are very important. Buttermilk, it's one kind of um, dairy product that is taken from the astringent part of the milk. And it's usually to be taken the end of the meal. The procedure to do the proper buttermilk, it's a little bit complex. But when we do paneer, uh, that is the milk cheese. Um, we put like this, we boil the milk with some lemon juice and then it gets two parts. One part that it's the clogged part that is going to be the paneer and the cheese and the other part that is going to be the astringent part that it's similar to the original um, form to prepare the buttermilk. This buttermilk is very good to clean the system because it's very astringent and it can be cooked with cumin. It's usually to be taken in the end of the meal. But in the West, this is not very common. But if you're in India or some like Indian countries, you can take buttermilk in the end of the meal along with the green stuff because it's going to be the same effect of astringent uh, rasa taste. Cheese. Uh, it's important in Ayurveda, it's usually mainly used in India as paneer, but in the West we have a lot of uh, yellow cheese. Yellow cheese are difficult to digest and should not be taken with meat as a general rule, like pizza. It's better not to take the pizza with uh, meat on it, like pepperoni, tuna, because this is very, very, very difficult for digestion. Um, if you're eating some pasta and you have some uh, bolognese uh, sauce there and you also put a little bit of parmesan cheese, this is not going to be so detrimental. I'm saying about large quantities of cheese and uh, significant amount of uh, meat blended together, okay? Um, White cheese with meat products, it's not so difficult to digest. But you should not take this every day, just like white cheese and eggs. But yellow cheese with eggs or yellow cheese with meat, they are very, very difficult for digestion if taken together. And always, since uh, cheese is very sticky, mainly the yellow cheese, we should always take it with some spices, some Mediterranean spices, some pizza spices, so it can be easily digested, okay? Never take just like one pizza that it's on the fridge and you put on the <laughs> microwave and then you just eat with soft drinks, because this is going to make you uh, completely upset in your digestive system. Okay, that I, for Ayurveda, if you have a very strong metabolism, maybe like you're a very sportish person and your metabolism can digest even this kind of stuff okay this is an exception not a rule right so in ayurveda the diary products they have a specific guideline for being properly digested milk should not be taken with salty things um, ghee cheese and curd can be taken with salt things 
Buttered milk is not a thing that it's very common in the West, but it can take it, it can be taken for persons that are needing to uh, enhance their digestive system or to lose weight. And also ghee is just like one of the most uh, engrandized, most uh, well uh, said uh, in Ayurveda because for Ayurveda ghee has the same properties of ojas and uh, it's very important to rejuvenation process but for now it's okay, right? So, in Ayurveda we are not completely against the use of dairy products, but also we are not completely uh, saying that it's going to be okay if you do anyhow, right? Remember that we are going to speak more clearly about this in your daily routine when you are doing your consultation. Be calm and easy. <laughs> and uh, if you like, please share, subscribe, comment. Send me a mail at namaste.tiago at gmail.com if you want to uh, make consultations online, coaching, and this other kind of service. Okay? Namaste. Mm -hmm.